take a breath and they usually ask you a qualifying or closing question. Assumptive but close. But there's no emotion. They think they made you emotional with that intellectual presentation. There's no emotion on my part to say yes. Got to, but you got to break. You got to really think it out. How do I get someone? I say, I ask one question every day. How do I get someone to say yes? How, How do I get someone, someone to buy? To say yes. How do I get someone to say yes? Yeah. What do you mm. got to do to make someone say yes? Make them emotional. Dag to make them emotional, and How they will make that, that immediate. Emo ask make those questions. Paint that picture for them. Okay. You know? Go ahead. You're you're selling. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You're selling a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich on fresh on fresh made bre uh, bread to Felipe. Okay. Go ahead. Make okay, so it's a BLT. And I haven't had bread because I'm fasted today. Oh, so bro, yeah. you're gonna, I'm, I'm, oh, you're, I'm starving I mean, right now. Felipe. Nice, nice thick I'm bacon, tail. fresh bread, crispy lettuce, tomato. Put all the adjectives in there. All the yeah. verbs, the adjectives. Tasty. You got mayo on it. Can't you imagine just sinking your teeth in a nice, nice, and you know what? Fresh bagels. How about that? Fresh oh. homemade bagels with mayo. And, I, you know, Felipe, correct me if I'm wrong. Do you like hummus? Man, you got me. You had me at hummus. <laughs> you had me at hummus. Ask, you got to ask him the three questions. You know what's the mm. most emotional question you can ask while you, before you go into your description with a redirection? Felipe, you're not hungry, are you? Uh, yeah. I haven't had breakfast today. I'm, I'm doing intermittent fasting, and I'm on this keto diet, and, and, and I'm telling you right now, I mean, I, after this call, I'm going to probably, you know, like, go hard at it, man. So... Go ahead, awesome. go ahead, uh, go ahead, Nehemiah. Oh, oh yeah, awesome. Can, can I, can I, before, notice what he did. Notice what he did. The, the way he asked me. He mm. didn't ask me, Felipe, are you hungry? No, I didn't he ask used a that. technique. It's, he used a technique called negative redirection, mm. where, where he's like, you're not hungry, are you? And humans, we have the tendency to, to argue with people. Mm. Oh, no, I mean, shit, no, I, I am. I am hungry. I am. So, so, you, so, 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 yeah. And then make yeah. a story. Oh, you know what I? You know what I'm making right now? I am making. Imagine for a moment, and then mm, boom, go right mm, into it. Yeah. Imagine yeah. you bite into this, the crisp lettuce, the the juicy fresh tomato, the yeah. the fresh tasting bread, and then the crunch of the bacon, and it's nice thick ba maple bacon. Oh, and you go like that. Yeah, that, applewood you, smoke. Applewood yeah. smoke. There you go. Yeah. So you you wouldn't be you you you're not hungry, are you, Felipe? I'm starving, man. What You're do starving? you got for me? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, can't, just imagine for a moment sinking your teeth into a nice, fresh bagel oh. with two layers of ham and cheese and lettuce and tomatoes. And you know what I got special? I, you know, my grandma just made some fresh pickles. And I don't know if oh you like the goodness. spicy homemade oh pickles. Yeah, if you can imagine, what would you give up to have a sandwich like that? Right now. I mean, right now. <laughs> Bro, tell me how much is it? Is it gonna be too expensive? Because I'm in Florida. Is it is it, is yeah. it gonna make it fresh here? No, money's, or... money's no object after that description. <laughs> yeah. This is blank check time. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the go for it, dude. <laughs> what, yeah, what, okay, so what's how much I'm is your gourmet sandwich worth? I gotta wipe my mouth I'm so I'm this, salivating here. This is a fifty dollar bagel BLT triple T sandwich. What? 50 bucks? Yes. Are you serious? It's guaranteed to keep you full for the next three days. Oh, my God. That's like, that's that's a lot. But, but 50 bucks for a sandwich, man, you got to do better than that. Oh, okay. I mean, I well, typically pay at my local bakery. I pay like 10 bucks for it. 10 I bucks? Mean, for a, okay. Yeah. Well, well, let me ask you, what do you get for 10 bucks? <laughs> I get a really a pretty decent sandwich. I mean, um, I mean, actually, if 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 I don't buy from you, I'll probably go and buy um, buy at my local bakery, and uh, yeah. I can buy five of them. Yeah, maybe you should. Maybe you should. Ooh, love yeah, it. Yeah, love maybe it. Should. No, I'm just curious because it's, it's obvious you like those bagels, but I'm curious: is it fresh? Like, how, how fresh are the bagels? It seems they're, like you love they're those. Very fresh, burgers. fresh as in time. But let me ask you this: Why should I buy your sandwich instead instead of the the local the local? Um, Bakery. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and the bakery is probably closer to you. Maybe you shouldn't. Mm. Good, good. But th there's there's a, there's a great move here. There's a mm. great opportunity, and this works in real estate, works in sandwich sales, whatever. Okay. Like I, I'm being I'm being of course I'm being obnoxious on purpose, <laughs> but uh, but then if a prospect 
throws you that kind of objection or, or like a like a roadblock. Yeah. You use the you use the three magic words. You know those? Mm. Tell me. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So you okay. use those three words. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I mean, that, that's that, that's uh, maybe you should maybe you should buy from them. But but I mean, mm. struggle, like, you must struggle. be saying that for a reason. Why? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know. How about some social proof in here too? You know what, Felipe? You know what? Ten. There's probably nothing wrong with that ten dollar bagel. Why do you think so many people? pay me for my bagel, $50 for my bagel BLT. So mm. many people all over the US, I ship them everywhere, I make them fresh. Why do you think people pay $40 more for, for my bagel, my yeah. sandwich over yours? Take mm. a guess. Well, it better, it probably be damn good. You know, I saw Simon Cowell, you know, like raving about your sandwich too on America's Got Talent. So yeah, it's probably <laughs> pretty good, man. Pretty imagine, good. imagine right now, because I can get it to you very quickly. Okay, I got an Uber Eats guy. He can be there in 15 minutes. Imagine 15 minutes from now, it's coming out, it comes out of the bag. You, you wrap the wax paper around it. It's warm in your hands. You bite that, that wonderful bagel dough that's fresh. We just made this morning. You, the crunch of the bacon, the sweet tomato, the crispy lettuce, and you bite into that. And the, mm. and the fat and the vegetables and the bread hit your mouth. Mm. And as you're chewing it, and then you have a little sip of coffee. Mm. I mean, can you imagine that happening to yourself in 15 minutes? Mm. You know, here's my card. Yes. <laughs> Did you hear the social proof? That was the yeah. Point. That's a good. I'm gonna 